Hey, this is John here, and we are going to continue working on Project Euler problems. I learned today that uh, Mr. Euler is a Swiss-German guy, so we're going to try to say it a little more German. I wasn't sure if it was Euler or Euler or whatever, but uh, since he, we know, I know he's kind of German heritage, then so we'll just say Euler. Uh, okay, so uh, the question is, is summation of primes, the sum of the primes below 10 is 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 equals 17. I want to find the sum of all the primes below 2 million. All right, so we already did prime numbers back before, and I put in a naive solution where we just basically divided every number, you know, divided each number by every other number to see whether they're divided evenly or not. Uh, so I've been looking around at some other strategies. Um, there's sort of a famous sieve that is done for calculating prime numbers that will that will implement for this. So basically, you just sort of map out how far you're going to go. So this says we're going to you know find all the prime numbers two through 120, and then basically what you do is you uh, you just start taking multiples and uh, so any time that you come across a number that is a multiple of something else, then it's not prime. So we started with two, two's okay, two's prime, but then everything that's a multiple of two is not prime. And you move up and you see everything that is a multiple of three is also not prime. And so you can just, they basically just mark this um, on the map as not prime anymore. And then whatever's left over is prime once you get all the way through. So we'll do a little more uh, closure-y, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do is we'll define a function. I'm going to call it sieve. Uh, we'll take in n, which is how far we are going to go. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, we're going to make our our map m equal to the range of numbers 2 through n plus 1, which really means 2 through n. And then what we want to do is we want to uh, actually we want to we make that range and then we're going to make that into a set okay into a set and that will basically give us a set that we can just start once we find out that something is a multiple we're just going to start dropping it from this set so let's try that out we have sieve and we do say 10 oh, let's see. yeah and there we go we have seven four six three two nine five ten eight okay so we have we have our initial set that is up to n and then basically we want to loop through um, all the numbers so let's do loop we're gonna go through all the numbers so we'll say I and we're gonna start with we're gonna start with two and then we are going to take in a map that we're going to go ahead and initialize with our map from above. Okay. And then basically what we want to do is we want to say that if um, if our i here is greater than and let's go ahead and take out a division for performance sake and we're going to make a stop condition which is sorry n divided by 2 and we're going to say if i is greater than stop then we're done right because we're more than halfway through so we're not going to have any more multiples so we'll say we'll return our m okay so now otherwise we need to recur and so what we're going to do when we recur is we are going to 
increment our i, go on to the next one, and then we're going to pass in a, a map. So basically, the new map is going to be uh, basically the difference in the old map plus uh, the difference between the old map and some range of multiples based on the, the current i. Alright, so let's just make the current i. We're going to do a, uh, a range and we're going to start with 2 times i, right? In the Wikipedia example, when they're doing 2, they started with 4, and they did 4, and then 4, 6, 8. So we're going to do, we're gonna, our initial one is uh, 2 times i, and then we are going to stop at uh, ink n. Let's make sure we get the parameters right for range. We're going to use this arity start, end, and then the step. Okay, start, end, step. So we have, we're going to start with uh, two times i, and we're going to stop at i plus one, and then we want to uh, step by i. Okay, so that is our, um, we'll call that our non-prime. So we know, we know that all these things are not prime when we do this. Okay, and then we also want to, um, put that into a set. So I'll do the same thing into a set. Okay, so now we have if, if we're done then we turn map otherwise we're going to make this non prime and then we can just recur on the closure.set difference between our original map and our non-prime map. All right, so all the, for all the non-prime numbers that are multiples of our current value, then we just reduce our set of all the values out there by these. And then once we're done with all this, then we should be left with just the prime numbers. So let's see what we get here. Can't resolve I. Oh, that. that. Not supposed to be there. Try again. Uh, we form contains errors. A lot of parentheses. All right, now it's defined. And when we run it, we get uh, seven, three, two, five. All right, so it actually looks like it's working. And let's see if we do. Uh, on the time macro and just kind of see see how we're doing. Let's do two. Make it on a big number. All right, so it takes a, a millisecond to do through 25, and we want to do um, do 200,000. Uh, 200,000. Okay, so it took. Uh, 1.3 milliseconds. So if we do the whole 2 million, then you know it's probably going to take 10 seconds or so. Hear the CPU screaming. So this is still not the most efficient way to do it, but I think you know it's got the added bonus points, so it's pretty straightforward. It takes a few seconds, and uh, you know that's probably okay. Uh, so let's say, up oh, there you go. Uh, 17 seconds. So. You know, some some other time we'll go and optimize it more and do a better job. But uh, for now, 17 seconds is good enough. I'm sure we'll be coming back to prime numbers later. Uh, so let's see, we want to find the sum of all the primes. So let's do the threading macro again. And this one is called the thread last. So we're going to do our 
sieve. So we're going to pass in the sieve result with all these numbers and uh, what we want to do is just apply uh, sum to the result and that should be it right all right let's try that out now we are 17 seconds plus the addition which shouldn't be too long and we'll see if we got their answer. We can go ahead and type in our confirmation code. 51706. Hope it didn't log me out. Alright, there's our answer. Copy that. Paste it in. Hey, and we got it right. So, uh, great. We have made a sieve for prime numbers. Thanks for watching.